first time in Europe we introduce uh, Selena Mark II launcher. We have a full uh, loaded solution with uh, both capabilities anti-torpedo and anti-missiles. So it means that with this solution we are able to defeat the latest generation of missile seekers. That's really uh, the most compact and lightest solution among uh, competition you can find here uh, on the show. Uh, and that's clearly uh, the, the solution we can use for Mieschnik and Skapla. So uh, we have uh, anti-torpedo capability with a DCNS payload inside. Uh, we have uh, so the uh, radar uh, anti-missile uh, solution with corner reflectors. That's something unique, um, qualified for now more than seven years and in service with French Navy but as well foreign navies. Uh, we have also infrared capability here for anti-missile air, air warfare as well and that's a turnkey solution we can offer to the Polish Navy integrated with the combat management system and as well with the NAV Meteo a system through Air, so RS422 data link. Another uh, solution which is very easy to integrate for uh, Orkan class, this is the Silena lightweight solution. It's uh, less than 300 kilograms fully loaded and um, on Orkan class this is a, a very uh, compact uh, ship with uh, small space uh, on board and that's very important to get something uh, easy to integrate, compact and light. This is the 40mm Mark IV naval gun system from Beaufort. And this a little bit bigger is the 57mm Mark III Beaufort naval gun system. Uh, here in Poland we are offering both these to the Polish Navy. And in combination with that we also offer quite an extensive package of industrial participation, local industry participation here, uh, to strengthen our offer for Poland and Polish Navy. The 57mm gun is uh, a very, very cost-effective alternative to a 76mm medium-caliber gun, uh, which we think uh, fits perfect to the Polish Navy requirements. Uh, the 40mm gun is a very, very lightweight, compact gun system, newly developed, uh, which is a unique combination of cost-effectiveness, small size, lightweight, and with a good capability. It can be used as a close-in weapon system on a ship, for example. Uh, both the 57 and the 40mm gun comes with the 3P programmable ammunition, uh, which gives the gun systems an all-target capability. Uh, the 57mm gun has so far been selected by a big number of navies around the world, including Sweden, Finland, the US Navy, the Canadian Navy and some others. Uh, the 40mm Mark IV, the brand new developed gun, has so far been selected by uh, the Brazilian Navy, but also we just recently won another customer contract, uh, which I can't mention today. Mr. Bua, I'm in charge of the underwater activity of uh, Thales and I am pleased to present to you all the underwater domain covered by Thales and in particular, for example, uh, all the system or solution we can propose uh, to navies for surface ship where we have a large set of system for a very small ship, medium size, like patrol ship, for example, here equipped with a king clip as a bow mounted sonar and the, the famous CAPTAS-2 part of the CAPTAS family, CAPTAS-2, which means a sonar, variable depth sonar with two rings to, trans, to generate the sound in water and just attach behind a receiver, as we will see in the detail here. We have uh, 
a transmitter towed behind the ship and just behind we have attached the receiver. This is a system which is dedicated for uh, patrol surveillance along the coast, uh, able to, to sail in deep water and shallow waters in a lot of conditions, hot, hot sea, cold sea, uh, so to adapt uh, due to the fact that when we can ad adapt the depth of the, the system, it's adapt to any uh, configuration, any sailing condition. Uh, it's a system very compact as you can see here on the winch, uh, we have the winch and the transmitter the ye in yellow here on the pictures and uh, you adjust uh, the length of the cable in order to adjust the depth. So it's a very simple system, uh, very easy to manipulate and uh, use operationally on the daily ba basis. And as you can see on uh, this curve here, when you, it uh, provides those curves, it provides the depth uh, and the length of the cable according to the depth and the sailing speed of, uh, of your ship. Uh, typical detection range is about 30-60 km. It changes a lot according to the sea where you sail and the temperature of the water, but as a classical range we can say uh, uh, 30 60 kilometers, so it's well adapted to deter any submarines in uh, the area uh, around the ship. ECA Group this year is celebrating its uh, 18th birthday. We were born in 1936. We are a company active in uh, uh, developing, designing and producing of robotic solution. We have robotic solution for air, like this drone here. Uh, we also have a wide range of uh, robotic solutions uh, for every environment on Earth, from unmanaged surface vehicles up to underwater vehicles. In the frame of underwater vehicles, we have autonomous vehicles as well as remotely operated vehicles. These vehicles can accomplish a, a wide range of missions, from uh, military missions like mine warfare up to also civil missions like uh, uh, hydrography and oceanography. Tipal is a state-owned company who built a, not only vessel but also offshore construction, repair, and uh, also warship and merchant ship. Uh, this ship is strategic sea vessel. This is uh, designed and uh, constructed by Tipal Indonesia uh, for the Philippine Navy. Uh, the Philippine Navy ordered two vessel, one already delivered uh, last month and one uh, still under construction in Pitipal. Uh, the vessel has uh, the speed is 16 knots uh, and the cruising speed is 13 knots. Uh, this vessel can uh, bring three helicopter, a uh, Black Hawk type, uh, two in uh, helicopter deck and one in inside the hangar and also can uh, bring until 500 uh, troops. This is our uh, 60 meters uh, fast petrol boat uh, designed and constructed by uh, Pitipal. Uh, we built, already built and delivered uh, three vessels for Indonesian Navy. Uh, the, this is the Pets 1 and then uh, we still make the descent for page 2. We all uh, from Petipal and from another uh, military industry in Indonesia want to show our uh, capability. Uh, so not only that, but we also want to uh, work together with uh, Poland uh, shipyard and Poland uh, military industry.